Hello, welcome to the Find the Right Junos RPC using the REST API Explorer Learning Byte. I'm Gordon Mosley with the Education Services Department at Juniper Networks. Let's get started. After watching this Learning Byte, you will be able to find the right Junos RPC using the REST API Explorer. Junos platforms provide a representational state transfer, or more commonly known as a REST API. REST APIs are used by external systems, and external systems can execute any Junos remote procedure call and retrieve the data. So, for example, Python libraries like the Python Requests library or the Python curl library, any application that can leverage those libraries can execute Junos remote procedure calls and retrieve data, right, that can be fed to a larger system. This is all about network automation, the ability to integrate Juno's platforms into a much larger application management environment. The REST API is not enabled by default, and so the example that you see on this screen is the necessary configuration to enable the REST API. You can enable it over HTTP or more commonly HTTPS, so the remote procedure calls, the RPCs, can be securely executed. The feature, the REST API Explorer, the, the, the feature that I want to discuss in this learning byte is a GUI method, a web browser based method provided by Junos that enables you to issue remote procedure calls and view the retrieved data. And this will help you when you're trying to integrate Junos platforms into a much larger network management or network automation solution. In this example, I'm going to connect to a Junos platform. I'm, I already have the configuration present. Uh, we'll take a look at the configuration. We'll open up a web browser, and we will issue or execute some Junos remote procedure calls and spend some time looking at the retrieved data. I have a secure shell connection into a Junos VMX platform. I'm going to show you a little bit about what we're trying to do here. I'm going to run a, just a simple, very common, Juno CLI command. I, I just connected to a new device and I want to figure out a little bit about this platform and so a common command. Juno CLI, show version. And, it, and I get a lot of information. What's the host name of this platform? But what version of software is running on here? So just good meat and potatoes information that you'd like to know on any device, for example, that you're connecting to for the first time. Right? And this is the Juno CLI show version command and I can retrieve the output. Let me show you how the output is really presented. At the end of any Juno's operational mode command, I can view the true representation of this output. You see, all of the Juno CLI commands that you enter are converted to an XML formatted remote procedure call that's passed to the Juno's management daemon that processes it and it returns XML output. It returns an XML document with the retrieved output and the Juno CLI converts that into the traditional output that you're used to seeing. But it's actually retrieved in XML output. This is the XML document that's generated by the management daemon and returned to the Juno CLI that's converted to Juno CLI output. So if I wanted to actually see the remote procedure call that was sent to the management daemon. There's an additional option. I can put a RPC option on the end of that command, and I can see, hey, this is the actual Junos Juniper, you know, Junos remote procedure call. Get software information. When I enter show version, the actual Junos remote procedure call that's sent to the management daemon is get software information. Now this is good information for me to have because I'm going to verify this remote procedure call using the REST API Explorer and I want to view the output. Now if I want to see that in the REST API Explorer, I have to enable that in my configuration on this device. Let me show you the configuration. This is under the Edit System Services REST branch of the configuration hierarchy on this VMX platform, I've enabled 
the REST API using HTTP. I didn't generate a self-signed certificate uh, for this learning byte, so I can't enable HTTPS, but I did enable Feature Explorer, uh, uh, the REST API Explorer, excuse me. Okay, I'm gonna open up a web browser. I'm gonna browse to the management IP address of my VMX device, and I need to put a colon, and then browse to port 3000. And I'm presented with the REST API Explorer interface. I can issue single remote procedure calls. I can issue multiple remote procedure calls. And again, the idea of this utility is I'm gonna verify that the remote procedure call is correct. I wanna be able to view the retrieved data. And then so I, I can more easily integrate this device with my larger application, my larger automation management application, for example. So what remote procedure call do I want to issue? And, I, and if I remember correctly, it was get-software-information. I think I might have spelled that wrong. Let me try that again. Let me try it again. Put in a username and password that has the ability to issue this remote procedure call on that Junos platform. And then I simply hit submit. And there's some really good information here that helps me if I'm trying to perform automation, I can see the actual HTTP GET request that was issued. And I can also see, it also generates for me an equivalent curl request. So I have the HTTP request and also a curl request. So if I'm using, for example, let's say my management, my automation application that I want to integrate the Junos platform with uses the Python requests library. It can issue HTTP get request. I, I could use this to issue the get request that would return this response from that target device. Or maybe I'm using the Python curl library. I have more experience with that. That's, that's what we're... Then here's the appropriate curl request to integrate with that application to retrieve this data. Here's the response header from the Junos REST API. Here's the response body. And then I, I can navigate through here looking for the interesting pieces of information that I can then feed into my much larger system. Okay, So this is an example of using the REST API Explorer to issue Juno's remote procedure calls and analyze the results to help me integrate these platforms into my automation and management solution. In this learning bite, we found the right Juno's RPC using the REST API Explorer. Thank you very much. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.